Hey guys, I have a Candles by Victoria haul for you. I just purchased these, I would say, at the beginning of the month, and then they were shipped to me very, very quickly. Um, I guess she said, Victoria said that the turnaround time was going to be a lot quicker, so I actually received these in the mail, and then I was out of town, so they've been sitting for about a week and a half since I actually smelled them. So I'm really hoping that this haul that I... Um, show you and uh, my first impression review is better than the last one because I did smell and make a video the day that I got them for the first um, haul that I made and for this haul and first impression I'm going to um, like I said they've been sitting for a week and a half so this is only half of my order and you might not be able to see but I have um, 12 scent shots that I have here and then I have some other gifts and um, bigger purchases for myself. So let me go through with you and tell you which scents I have, what I think, and all of the type of things. All right, so first of all, I got two bread pans and I got these for gifts for my family and they don't watch YouTube and um, so they won't see these, but I got the two uh, baked bread pans, I believe they're called, and they're really, really cute. And I got them in, um, baked apple strudel and this was one of the scents that I got in my first um, order and I really liked it and like I said in my review I actually brought all my scent shots and everything over to my parents house and everyone was there for Thanksgiving and this was one that they told me that they liked and since the top of this is um, cinnamon crumbles I thought that that would smell really good underneath so this is a really cute idea it is really small um, but I'd say it's worth the money. It's really, really cute. So I got two of those, and I have the other one still wrapped back here. But as of right now, all I can smell is like cinnamon and maybe a little bit of apple just because, um, the cinnamon little chunks are on top. But it's really cute, and I talked about the, um, what did I say, the baked apple strudel in my other haul and review. I have two separate videos. I'll link them down below. So if you want to know more about that one, um, go reference that video and I talk about what I think on the apple strudel. And then I decided to get this candle and this is a lot smaller than I thought. I mean, I did read the description and everything, but for some reason the pictures are making me think it was bigger. I don't know. But this is, um, I believe this is a comfort candle. I could be wrong. This is one that like she has pre-made and I think there's about six of them. And this is the Caramel Gingerbread Apple Crisp. And it's so cute. It came packaged really well. Everything came like bubble wrapped amazing. And then it comes with this top, which is cool. So once it, um, I burn it for the first time or if I decide to give this one as a gift, I haven't decided yet. Once I burn it for the first time, it'll go down and then I can put the cover over it. But now it's kind of like overflowing so I need to melt it or someone needs to melt it before I put the top on but so there's this uh, saran wrap that she has over it and then you can see it's all layered there's this layer of just plain wax um, I don't know recall what exactly um, like I said it's caramel gingerbread and apple crisp so there's this layer here that's just like regular wax and then this one is like chunks of wax and then at the top, it's like really, really cool. They poured it really awesome. And then on the top, it's really, really pretty. Oh, stuff's falling out. But you can see that um, she made like little wax toppings. I think they're supposed to be apples chunks or, you know, apple slices and then caramel toppings. And it's really, really pretty. So that's this one. And let me smell it. This just smells really, really good. I like all of the scents that are in this candle, so um, I figured if I decide that I don't want this um, for myself, then I'll just give it away for Christmas, but I haven't decided yet. So we'll see. If I decide to keep it and melt it, I'll definitely do a review on it after I've melted it. The next candle I got for myself, and this is the Chocolate Fudge Cinnamon sugar cookie surprise and this is the smaller one she has a larger one this is the smaller one it's really pretty you can see it has like you know the marshmallow and everything running down and then it actually has the top on already so you twist it off and it's a single wick and it has the same cinnamon chunks 
that the bread pans do. And smelling it, all I can really smell right now is the cinnamon chunks on top. But I have a feeling that I'm really going to like this. Um, and I probably, if I like this, will repurchase. Because this is just so pretty and nice. And I don't know. I just really like it. So I'm excited to burn this one. And I said this one's for myself. So I'll definitely be giving a review once I decide to burn that. So let me go ahead and show you all the scent shots. Well, not all. But I decided to put 12 in this review because I don't want the video too long, and I have a bunch of other um, videos I want to get up before Christmas. So I'm just going to review these first 12 for you. Alright, so the first one I have here is Fluffinutter, and some people on the board that uh, Victoria has, which is called The Pouring Pot, um, they all have like their favorites underneath their name, and this one I've seen a couple times, and I used to eat these when I was younger, so I decided to give it a try. So let me go ahead and smell it. And let's see, I'm turning it over. And right now, I don't really smell much. Like I've said, I've had these sit for a week and a half already. But I just smell maybe a little like a little bit of peanut butter maybe. But that's really it. I'm hoping that maybe the marshmallow comes out well, I definitely hope that the marshmallow comes out once I melt it, but I have a feeling that this is going to smell really good because right now it's not strong at all, and I think if it was too strong, I might not like it. So this one I'm looking forward to melting, and this is Fluffinutter. And then the next one I ordered was Chocolate Strawberries, and people were talking about her strawberry scents, and I've watched a bunch of videos, um, of course, about Candles by Victoria, so I decided to try one of the strawberry scents, and I love chocolate, so let me see how this smells. And, all right, I'm turning it upside down. And this smells really good. I don't really know if I can pick up the chocolate right away, but I definitely smell the strawberry scent. And it doesn't smell too overpowering, and it doesn't smell too artificial. So that's good as of right now. Like I said, remember, these are just my first impressions. I haven't melted them yet. So I'm looking forward to melting this also. It's not too strong, which is amazing. So unlike the blueberry scents, I feel like those are really strong <clears throat> on first smell. And then the next one I have is pumpkin chocolate. Now, like in my other video, I said I love pumpkin. And I think I ordered maybe like five different scent shots that have pumpkin in them last time. And I only ended up liking one or two of them. Well, I like two of them I'd consider repurchasing. So since I like chocolate, and this was actually on my original order list, but I decided to narrow it down and get rid of it. So I finally decided to go through and try it this time. And once again, it's pumpkin chocolate. So let me smell this. And this smells really good. Let me turn it over. This smells really, really good to me. Um, like I said, the chocolate strawberries smelled more like strawberries. And this one, I can actually smell the chocolate. I smell a little bit of pumpkin. But if this smells like the pumpkin cheesecake with chocolate, oh my gosh, it's going to smell so, so good. I guess I'll have to see how the chocolate... Um, scent turns out after it's um, melted, considering I've never had any chocolate scents of hers before. So those are those three. And then the next one I got is chocolate pudding. And I was going to get the chocolate fudge brownie, but for some reason I just decided to go ahead and get chocolate pudding. And I'm really happy I did because I watched a video or two and they actually, you know, I, I don't remember who it was, I'm sorry, but her, it's her and her daughter, and she always talks about, um, you know, chocolate fudge brownie, I guess, mixing with other um, scents, but I guess she decided to get this one, and now she said she's going to start mixing her chocolate pudding instead of chocolate fudge brownie. So that made me kind of excited, and that's why I decided to get this one instead. And let's see how it smells. This smells really good. It just smells like a nice faint chocolate and I think like mixing this with a coffee scent because I have coffee bean um, would be really good or 
I don't know, but I think this smells really good. I would um, melt it on its own, but it might be a little too strong, like straight out chocolate. It might be a little crazy, but this smells really good. It smells just like a faint chocolate. I would say like a, a pretty true chocolate. I don't know about the pudding part, but it smells good. And then the next one I have is Cajun cornbread. And a lot of people talk about this. And where I live um, is in the south, but I didn't grow up eating cornbread. So um, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I know what cornbread's supposed to smell like, but I've never really had good cornbread. So let me smell this one. And let's see. To me, this has like a butter scent. And I'm not really a fan of butter. I guess maybe that's why I didn't like pumpkin pralines. I like caramelized pralines because the sweet overpowers the butter, but this is like really buttery. I'm going to flip it back over. I don't know. I don't get too much of like what this is supposed to be. It doesn't smell bad though for my first impression. I guess all I could say is I'd have to melt this before I really decide what it smells like because I didn't, I decided not to pull up all the, um, the descriptions just so I could kind of tell you what I think versus what the description says because obviously everyone can pull up the descriptions and look for themselves. So this one is Black Forest Cake and I haven't really heard anyone talk about this but I love Black Forest Cake as a dessert and I believe it's supposed to be chocolate and raspberry or yeah I think it's raspberry I don't even know I love raspberry and strawberry so good anyway let me smell this. This smells really good to me. I don't know if I get like a dessert smell. It kind of smells like a soap, which is weird. It smells like a really good soap. Hmm. I don't know if I'm getting like cake from this. I feel like it's more fruity, which would make sense from like the raspberry, I believe, that's in it. It's supposed to have chocolate, obviously. I don't know. This doesn't smell bad. It kind of smells like a chocolatey fruit, I guess, which would make sense because that's what it's supposed to be. I don't really smell cake, but I guess we'll have to see what it smells like when I melt it. And I actually like it. It's good. And um, yeah, so that's that one. All right. And the next one I have is banana nut bread. And I don't know if I've really heard too many people talking about this one. I don't remember, but let me go ahead and smell it. All right, and I'll we'll flip it over. And to me, this really does smell like banana and nuts. Like, this is really good. I really like banana nut muffins. This smells really good. Like, really good. It's not too strong, though, which is good. And it doesn't smell like... People say her banana smells kind of like candy banana, like a runt or something. But this, I don't really get that. I think the nuts overpower the banana. So this one, I'm pretty excited to burn. I think out of all the ones I've showed you so far, this one smells the best to me. In this video, that is um, when I'm talking about the scent shots. This is the best scent shot that I have believe that I smelled so far. So I'm really looking forward to uh, melting banana nut bread. And then this one's almond pastry. And I really like the smell of almond. I don't know about the cherry almond. I've never smelled that before. But... I really like almond scents just because there's this soap that I buy from Lush, um, Snow Cake I believe it's called, and I purchased her, uh, you know, her soap version, I guess, you know what I'm, guys I'm talking about, the dupe version of that, but it, it smelled a little too soapy for me, so I wanted to try to get a scent that was more like dessert, so I got a couple of almond uh, scent shots, and this one's almond pastry. And this smells really good. This smells like the soap that I have minus the soap. And that's what I was looking for. So let me flip it over. Yeah, so in my opinion, this smells like um, the Lush soap minus the soap, which would make it almond, obviously. It's called almond pastry. Now, this is kind of strong since it's almonds, in my opinion. It's not super strong, but it's still strong because it's a straight-up almond scent. But um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to melt all of this at once, but it smells really good, and I'm looking forward to melting this one, too. And then the next one I have is Granny's Pie Crust, and so many people talk about this on the message board and on their videos. 
that I decided to finally get it or get it. <laughs> and um, let me go ahead and tell you what I think. And to be honest, I don't get much right now. Let me flip it over. I really don't get much at all. It's just a very, very, very faint scent. It doesn't smell bad, but I can barely, barely smell it. So I'm hoping that it comes out when I melt it. Um, and then I'll give you, a, when I do my review, after I melt them, I'll tell you what I think about this. But I can barely smell this one so far. And then the next one I have is Caramel Apple. And this was actually my free scent shot. And I like Apple a lot, as you could probably tell from my first haul and review. But I'm not too big of a fan of Caramel. So let me smell this one. It's not that I don't like caramel, it's just that this caramel overpowers the apple, which I don't like. If the apple overpowered the caramel, it would be a lot better. This one's just okay. Um, I don't know if I like it. I guess we'll have to see how it smells when it's burned. So I can't really say too much. It just smells a little caramely, maybe. Caramel, to me, if it's real or fake, smells artificial, like just a not natural smell. So I can't really say too much about this one. But I'll tell you more about it after I review it, when I after I melt it. So that's Caramel Apple. And then the next one I have is Apple Raspberry Crumble. And um, I haven't heard much about this either, but let me go ahead and smell it. And this smells really, really good. It definitely smells like raspberries. I'm not sure if I smell like the dessert scent or not. But this smells really fresh, like a really fresh raspberry. Like I said, I don't smell dessert right now, but maybe after I melt it, I will smell it. So I'll have to let you guys know about that. But the raspberry definitely overpowers the apple or the dessert smell. And it's not too strong, which is really nice. So this is uh, Apple Raspberry Crumble. Right, and the last scent shot I have is Shamrock Kiss. And on the messaging board, the pouring pot, I've also seen this listed under people's favorite scents. So I decided to give this a try. And I don't remember what it's supposed to smell like because, like I said, I want to tell you what I think and not read it off the, um, the scent description for you. So let me smell this. And this smells really, really good. To me, it's citrusy. Lemon, lime, I'd say. And there's something else in there. And I can't figure out what it is. Um, it's not bakery at all. It's like straight up fruit, which is also really nice. Um, I would say this would be more of like a spring uh, summery scent. Uh, versus like the warm and cozy bakery scents. But this is really, really good. And I could see why people would really like this. So I'm really excited to um, melt this. And I'll let you guys know how it goes. So overall, I really enjoy all these scent shots. There's not really one that I don't like out of these 12 that I have, which is a good sign. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be listing the... Uh, videos that I have on my scent on my other haul and review down below. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them down below and I will be answering them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.